New package has just arrived. Okay, obviously, you know, you've got to fresh it up a little bit. We've got a little Prada package here. Let's see what we've got going. I'll let you know what I've ordered. Let's see if this is any decent. As you guys know, I've got the Fendi wallet. I needed to get a better wallet because Fendi wallet has no coins. It has no coin slot. It's annoying. Smart wallet. <laughs> It's just smart. Yo, what's popping? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to another video. Yes, we are dropping an FTMO strategy video. This is basically going to be for a lot of my VIP members. It's going to be for a lot of people online, even looking into FTMO, traders that are failing FTMO and thinking, you know, guys, I need to stop wasting my money. I need to stop. These fees are coming costly. I can't just keep throwing the account. The amount of people that don't even pass. The amount of people that fail within 10 days, the amount of people that don't even risk manage whilst taking these, and the fact of the matter is, I need to make this bit of content because, ladies and gentlemen, girls, you guys are paying for these challenges. You are wasting your money failing consistently, and in the end of the day, you know, if you can't pass these challenges, how do you expect to be trading with FTMO for a longevity, a long period of time? In the end of the day, trading is every single five days a week. You know, and it's the same thing for years. You've got to be able to trade and have a trading plan set out where you can trade consistently well for a long period of time. And that is why I'm going to help you for loads of like good habits, everything I know and everything I do to pass my FTMO accounts, I'm going to tell you in this video. So make sure to continue watching because there is going to be some real next level stuff in this video for you all. If you are new around here, make sure to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And obviously hit that bell notifications. We're uploading, you know, one, two videos a week. I'm going to sort out, you know, the schedule and upload their videos consistently. Guys, my main job is trading. I have to focus on my trades which we've been absolutely smashing in VIP and I will show you some trades at the end of this video that we've been hitting but right here as you can see you know another 15-20% week in VIP absolutely popping link in description on the bot click on the bot join through there and if you guys want to join the community trading discord that's also link in description and I just want to say this I have a free telegram where I send one trade a week in that's like 1200 people at the moment let's get that up join up that absolutely free click on the links in the description it's no bs you can literally see you know vip trades i take you can see trades that i even send to free trades we pop off there that 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 free group makes profit every single week facts to so get involved on that but without further ado okay your boy tj is ready to provide the content without further ado let's go baby Okay, so when looking at FTMO, they obviously have different account types with different leverage. And this is another big thing in trading. You know, when you're in a broker, they'll say you can have one to 500 leverage. They try and promote it in terms of, you know, that's the best leverage for your account, but it's really not. And the reason why I say this is because many, many traders, I say a lot of people who trade have problems with being consistent. And we're talking, you know, using the same risk per trade having that mindset to not just double enter a trade with an extra percent of risk and also just over risking in general the leverage really helps out you know there is a there is a 1 to 30 leverage called a swing account type which they actually made i made a video on it last video where we actually did the verification uh, the challenge and the verification step and we passed both and got the ftmo funded account two hundred thousand dollars now with this account it's 1 to 30 leverage and the reason why it's so good is because you can use a 20 pip stop loss which is what i trade with because obviously you know i'm after that insane r to r with that 20 pip sl you can only risk one percent with a one to 30 leverage on this account meaning ladies and gentlemen boys and girls if you guys get you know emotionally attached to trading you know emotionally just can't handle it you want to take trades you want to take more risks you just want to pass this challenge this stops you this legit stops you if you try and do any more than that one percent on a 20 pip stop loss for gold and you're using stinu to calculate your risk make sure you use a risk management app stinu is on the app store probably on the samsung store as well hopefully and you guys can go and use that that app to help you risk manage and basically you can't risk anymore it is the best thing ever you know even people in my vip Discord chatting, you know, they're doing this challenge right now and they love it because in the end of the day, you know, sometimes it is hard to control emotion. Definitely if you want to pass accounts, you know, everyone's trying to seek to get rich and we all know that you can't get rich 
from a 1,000 pound account with trading. We all know trading is about real trading, by the way, guys, when we're talking here. We're not talking, you know, get rich quick, try and, trying to flip a 500 pound account telling you that you're going to make 10,000 pounds because that is unrealistic. The real detail of trading is high value accounts because you're going to be using 1% risk on these accounts. You're not going to risk any more. And even still, even if you get a $200,000 account, you don't need to be risking 1%. 0.5% you can risk max and you're still making 700 pound per a freaking percent even if you're risking 0.5% which is still insane you know 700 pound a day all you need is 1% a day 7 times 30 is 21,000 you know we're talking big money here talking big big money obviously you know there's not 30 days in a month of trading there's 20 something days in a, in a month of trading days however you know do the math you don't actually have to even risk a full one percent which actually goes me on to talking about managing your trades correctly and obviously you know there's loads of ways to manage your trades correctly if you don't trade you know a lot at the moment and you're not doing this in terms of moving that sl to entry say if you go 20 30 pips and you're happy that your trade probably will never pull back to your entry because you're looking at getting a sniper entry then you can move SL to entry which is also a risk-free trade so for example right now I've got 1776 buys on gold it went up to 1792 it was on 10,500 pound on my FTMO account I could have closed out for there which is around 14 15 thousand dollars however I am still holding SL entry because in the end of the day there is nothing in the world if this trade goes to 1825 for gold I'm gonna be making 40 50 thousand pounds you know 60 70 80 thousand dollars on this trade and it's running risk free so therefore i've got a risk-free trade that can never lose any money that but has the potential to make 40 50 grand and that is why i do sl entry because if it does come back to entry then you don't need to fomo to get re-entries because in the end of the day if it's come back to entry at break even it's most likely going to be the other direction okay so that is a key thing in trading and another thing that traders go wrong and it's just it's just having that mindset and activating different levels in your brain to thinking of smarter ways to actually overcome losses overcome your your risk and what i mean by this is because it makes complete sense say for example you're on the verification step you need five percent why are people risking one percent it makes no sense if you're a trader you know a group you follow or whatnot is sending out a 10 to 1 risk to reward which means if you put one percent on this trade you'll get back 10 percent however with the verification step as an example you only need five percent therefore you got people risking one percent risk on a five percent challenge where you've got 60 days complete it and they're for a 10 to 1 trade they're still risking one percent if the trade's going to come in 10 to 1 you only need to add 0.5 percent risk to actually get five percent 10 times 0.5 is 5. That is 5%. You will pass the challenge. So therefore, when you're doing your FTMO accounts, even when you get to the later stages, even on the first step, and you've got, you know, plus 6, plus 7%, stop risking 1% because, you know, you'll start declining down. You'll start to, you know, start hitting stop losses, potentially, and then your mindset will go, and then you'll start continuing to risk, over-risk, and all this sort of stuff. You don't need to risk anything more than 0.5%. And this leads me on to also multiple take TPs. When you get a multiple take profit, let's say a trader sends a trade and it's got three take profits. You don't need to risk 1% on each trade. You've only got 5% max daily loss. You go over this, FTMO will wipe you off their challenge. They will keep your money and you will not get any sort of refund. And this is even when you pass the challenge. If you don't get your payout on your first month and you fail, and you fail the account, the FTMO account, you will not get your money back. And this is something so crucial with your risk management. People over risk on their accounts. They they force they force trades. They hold their you know they hold their losses for more, and then they don't hold their trades out for wins. So just keep in mind when trading these FTMO accounts, keep your mindset, keep the risk to a bare minimum, and just take your time. If you are in profit with these accounts you cannot go wrong you will get a free retake there's no rush to being successful it's not done overnight this stuff takes time you know it's same with these ftmo challenges are set to make you fail so please 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 listen to when i say this to you guys please take this on board because everything i'm trying to tell you right now is to help you pass these challenges it's not it's not for you know ftmo to fail you this is literally how i think when taking these challenges and I don't know a lot of people do not think the way that I'm thinking and that's purely because you know I've failed challenges before I've tried to work out the best way possible in order to complete these challenges facts 
because also when you get funded you have to maintain the account you don't just get funded and you're set for life no that is a start the FTMO challenges are just something to you know for the good traders to get through technically speaking and for the retailers to keep failing to keep profiting for FTMO now I don't know what I can really say or you know but I'm just speaking my mind and just the truth of how I see FTMO and how to strategize your plan in order to be successful with trading the FTMO challenges and also when you get funded and hopefully you will get funded at some stage during your trading process with FTMO. However, when trading FTMO, you need to keep in mind that you can only get a max loss of 5%. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would recommend you to make a trading plan. If you take minus 2% in a day, you stop trading. Guys, think logically. You got a lot of days to pass FTMO, okay? You got a lot of days. Minimum 10 days, they give you an account, that's fine. However, you've got a month to pass the first stage and if you're in profit you get a free retake which is what I said however keep in mind if you are losing even 2% a day you know and you have five bad trading days that is the account gone so you gotta keep in mind you gotta keep in mind don't think about it like it's a demo account don't think about it like it's not real money it means nothing you know I'll take a 2% risk on this trade don't think like that guys take it slow trading is all about longevity if you can't trade you know for multiple multiple months slash years and how are you ever going to be able to fund a lifestyle with trading how are you ever going to be where you want to become if you can't trade consistently month in month out you know obviously you can have a bad trading week Technically speaking, if you get really good Artois and you're a decent trader, there should never be a losing week. Obviously, you know, once out of blue moons, let's say one bad trading week out of four months, that's absolutely fine in personal, personal opinion. However, you should never really be failing these challenges. You should never really be failing the FTMO funded account. And the best way to learn through this all is obviously, you know, risk management but having that trading plan. Teaching yourself self-development with trading, you know, putting in good habits. There comes to a point, and this is from personal experience, where you just gotta say to yourself, look yourself in the mirror and be truthful, you know. You got to admit your own mistakes in trading. And it's simple stuff like looking at entries. If you are following signals, okay? And guys, I understand that a lot of people don't really get about entries and getting the best entry, but I'm telling you, when you're on a big account, and you get minus 10 pips on a $200,000 account, and you're minus 700 quid for only 10 pips, then you will start to understand why entry is so important because you can't be having, you know, minus 1,000, minus, you know, $1,400 or 1,400 pounds, sorry, in drawdown 10. Do you get what I mean? That's why entry is so important because also you move that SL to entry and you get that wick out entry, should never come back to that entry. And that is why entries are so important. So please, if you're following signal providers or whatever, just because they send a trade does not mean you have to enter that trade instantly. Obviously, if it's moving ball and you're a trader yourself and you're looking at the chart and you think it's never gonna pull back to near their entry or whatnot, then obviously get it in. But do not FOMO the entry, and that is called fear of missing out. Something that a lot of traders do, and you, you know, it's I understand when you're on a small trading account, you don't really see the loss in terms of or the loss in drawdown in terms of you know the amount the amount of the quantity of money it actually is but on these bigger accounts you do and it's a whole psychological battle for you all to you know you're all gonna experience it one day for sure i know a lot of people are getting funded right now from my signals personally but you know other people out there probably as well and um it's one of those things man it's all about psychology and self-development you know keeping to the plan it's literally saying you go to work nine till five five days a week you don't take a day off. The only days you take off are the holidays that that company give you. That is consistency. However, this is something that you have to do just because you you feel like you have to go into work, otherwise someone else will be on your back. With trading and with self-development and with this trading plan, it is all yourself. And which is why trading is so difficult. It's hard to maintain emotions and hold that psychology with the big size accounts, money, you know, just the fact about trying to change your life, trying to get these accounts to give you financial freedom, which is perfect. I respect everyone trying. I respect all the traders out there grinding their absolute ass off to complete these challenges. But I am here to look out for you in terms of these fees you know they can be steep and i understand if people prefer to keep doing these challenges instead of trading a live account because 
they are eager to make and be successful in trading. But I'm just here to tell you, you know, you just need to get everything nailed to the ground. You need to be confident in yourself. You need to be confident in the trading plan that you are taking. You need to be confident in your consistency and just roll with it. But do not, and I repeat, please do not over risk. Please do not just fail these challenges for no reasons. If anything, even if the 30 days are up and you're in profit, but you've managed to eat, but you've managed to have a profitable month, even if it's 2%, then so be it. You get to retake the challenge. It shows that you can trade for a consistent basis without failing accounts or losing your head. And that is something that is really, really should you should really be proud of yourself if you can do that. And it's one of my in real life mates at this moment of time is doing a verification step for FTMO. You know, he's so eager to get a 5%. And this is a great example, okay? He was 0.7% off getting the 5%, okay? He had 4.3% in profit, 0.7%. He risked 1% on a trade, it touched SL. He's now 1.7% away from getting funded. I said to him, you didn't even need to risk 0.2% on this trade and you could have passed and only taken a 0.2% loss. Do you get what I mean? It's about being smart and managing the risk it's all about managing the risk and being smart you know you don't want to get too carried away with trading as well obviously with uh, with ftmo you can get carried away with you know banning out trades but do not become a retail trader it's okay to not trade if you hit sl one day just leave it just leave it analyze the market back test the market and go it again you know this is so important with the ftmo moving the sl entry so you do not take any risk and guys if you're looking at your history and you're sending and you're entering more than two trades a day in terms of like you're risking like two percent a day then i would highly recommend just to rechange your trading plan rechange your strategy and make up another strategy because i or hand on heart can be honest with you guys taking even two percent loss in a day really does damage your account okay and also the fear of missing out the fomo holding yourself you know these people that who are called the retail traders in the end of the day is people who are just in and out of markets it's it's traders who don't properly look on the charts they'll fomo their entries if they get tapped out and then they'll just keep you know keep believing that the trade's coming in even though it's not i look for market direction i am never naive about a trade you know, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll take a step out of the market, let it do its thing, let noise take control, and then get back into the market when I feel like it is acceptable to get back in. And it's just so many key things in trading that you need to keep on board with these FTMO accounts and with even check trading in general. With these FTMO accounts and with trading in general, because you have to, have to just do well. You have to do well consistency risk management and just smash it you know there's no rush to completing these challenges this was just a quick little video which i hope helped i had to get these things off my chest a lot of people have been requesting it in my vip um and there's a lot of stuff that i know personally that they don't know um and that you guys might not know which you might be thinking you know what tj is actually speaking facts you know a lot of things that he just he has just said is actually so true and it's even with you know about my in real life mate about that 0.7% he could have, he already needed to pass, yet he was still risking 1%. It just makes no logical sense. So hopefully my way of thinking can actually impact your way of trading to make you a better trader and hopefully help you in these challenges. If you need my help, you've got the VIP or you've got a Discord, go speak in the public chatting. It pops off in there. You've got the free trades as well. And yeah, I'm just blessed to have all these traders supporting me on my journey personally as well and to obviously help them too because a lot of members in discord in the vip are getting funded you know you'll see that there is a funded role now people are all taking these challenges which is insane i love it i love that people want to get funded but i'm here to help i'm here to help with the mindset with just staying day in day out trading smartly and just to help you guys learn in this market because i'm not gonna lie the reason why people quit in forex is because they lose money which is true i've lost thousands tens of thousands of pounds before actually trading and even with these challenges you know i've failed ftmo challenges previously in the past as well people do you know you're not perfect but you must learn from the mistakes unfortunately with forex that the mistakes that you learn from cost money that is the hardest thing about it but if you can have better guidance or you know learn from what i'm saying and hopefully that helps and makes you a better trader so it has been your boy tj much love on the youtube content let me know in the comments down below what videos you want me to do and i will produce them for you i'm working really really hard at the minute 
on my, on the charts. I really am. And also, I'm working hard for all the members. You know, I'm, I'm uploading TJFX shorts, so go check the link in description on that channel as well. We upload all of the VIP trades onto that YouTube channel where you guys can watch. They're like one, two minute videos. Also, we'll be live streaming on that channel as well. But if you do want to check out my live streams, we stream on twitch.tv slash it's TJFX. Link in description too. Much love on the content. I've got some fire videos coming for you. Blessed, blessed, blessed as hell. Take it easy. Much love and peace.